Let's cross to Canberra, though, now live for the latest on this Medivac repeal bill. The government has been successful in the Senate, getting that crucial vote from Senator Jackie Lambie to repeal the Medivac laws. The political reporter Eliza Edwards joins us now from live from Canberra. A big win, uh, a badly needed win in the Senate, really, for the government uh, here, Eliza, after they lost that uh, union integrity vote last week. Yeah, that's right, Chris. And the government does finish this parliamentary year with a win after securing the numbers to pass uh, to overturn the medical transfer system known as Medivac. The laws originally passed Parliament earlier this year against the government's wishes, but today the Senate has voted 37 to 35 to wind those laws back after Senator Lambie confirmed she would vote with the government. Senator Lambie became quite emotional when she was explaining her final position to the Senate. I don't like holding things back like this, but when I say I can't discuss it publicly due to national security concerns, I am being 100% honest to you. My hand is on my heart, and I can stand here and say that I would be putting at risk Australia's national security and national interest if I said anything else about this. So I've put to the government a proposal, and since then we have worked together really hard to advance that proposal. And as a result of that work, I'm satisfied, I'm more than satisfied that the conditions are now in place to allow Medivac to be repealed. Chris, there's been a lot of controversy both inside and outside the chamber over this secret deal that Senator Lambie has struck with the government, and neither side has really managed to get their lines straight on this. Uh, just before the final vote, we heard Senator Lambie there saying that she had an agreement with the government, uh, but the government's leader in the Senate, Matthias Cormann, saying there was no deal. There is no secret deal. Let me repeat that again. There is no secret deal. There is no secret. Australian, the Australian people know extremely well the work that we have done to strengthen our border protection arrangements. The Australian people understand very well what we have done in order to clean up the mess that Labor left behind at our borders when you lost government. The Australian people know perfectly well how we are ensuring that the boats don't start coming again. And now, I will say this to Senator Lambie, and I regard her as, as a friend, and I, I have a lot of uh, respect for her. She is a straight shooter. We don't always agree, but she is a straight shooter. I would say this to you, Senator Lambie, publicly. Do not let them require you to vote for legislation without, with a requirement of secrecy around the deal. It is, it is not a reasonable proposition for the government to put to you. And it is about whether policy can be made in the shadows or whether it is subjected to some sunlight. So, Chris, the obvious difference there in the rhetoric has infuriated Labor and the Greens. Both of them are arguing that the Parliament and the Australian people deserve to know the details of any deal that's been done.